40%. Returning families say they're not sure what they're coming back to and many admit they're worried about starting over. Some of those who left Zimbabwe blame policies of President Robert Mugabe's ruling party's army PF for damaging the economy. Kumbulani Sibanda left at the height of the economic crisis in 2008 with nothing. He says he's returned with nothing. Yeah, I'm worried about that. Was here, yeah, no jobs here. Yeah. I don't know what I can do here. Yeah. So what is the plan? No, I don't have a plan for that. Down. For here in Zimbabwe, I just came now. I don't have a plan. Government officials and aid agencies are trying to help. Bring whatever is possible to assist this guy. In which case, I'm talking about money, I'm talking about food items, I'm talking about blankets, anything that can assist these guys. There's a lot of emotion in them, and physically, they are so traumatized, so there's also need for counseling services. Some say they want nothing to do with South Africa. No, I don't want to go back. Because the way people were killed, I don't think I'll ever go back there. Others say if things get too difficult here, they will have to cross the border into South Africa again, as soon as it's safe to do so. Harumitasa Al Jazeera, Bait Bridge, Zimbabwe.